Alrighty, Q&A. I said I was going to do these monthly, and if I'm being perfectly honest, by the time this comes out, it's going to be two months since the last one. So my apologies, I kind of forgot. If anything, every two months probably sounds a little bit better, considering that there's not an unlimited amount of questions you could probably ask me. But whatever, we're going to kick things off. I think I've got 11 questions here. We'll go one by one. And uh, yeah, not much else to say on that. First question comes from Melted Brain, who asks, throughout all the Builder Busts, which one had been the most enjoyable and which one was the most pain to play with? Well, the most pain is easy. No question about it. It's Aerosmith Pluck. That was the worst. I had a horrible time. I wanted to die the entire time. And one watch through the video will tell you that. Although admittedly, it's one of the few Eclipse Rage videos that I think actually is kind of funny, because normally when I get mad, I think it's kind of unwatchable, but that one is really funny going back and watching it. So while it may have been miserable to play, it was still funny in the end of it, so I think it was worth it, at least in hindsight. Now, when it comes to which ones I enjoyed the most, I think that one's a little bit hard but what it really probably comes down to is the Mr. President one or the Sticky Fingers one. And it, I don't even remember what the specs were on those, and it was so long ago that I, I really just don't remember. But in all honesty, those two, despite being terrible builds in their own right, I had such a good time recording and editing it because I was having a blast throughout the whole thing. Mr. President looping people that had no clue how to get out of it and immediately kidnapping them right as soon as they got out of the first kidnap was so funny and it's especially funny and it made it even more hilarious while I was doing it because I hadn't tried to do it before going into that. I didn't do any prep or anything. I just ran in and I was like, all right, I'm gonna use Mr. President. I'll see if this is a thing I can do and I could and it was so funny. And Sticky Fingers, it's kind of the same thing. I didn't really do much prep. I went in there and I froze people in place with zipper punch over and over again and they were not happy about it. So uh, yeah, worst one, Aerosmith Pluck. Best one, probably a toss up between Sticky Fingers and Mr. President. Second question is from Aiden who asks, do you think adding new specs would be a good change? Examples, Cars, Bubble, Haman, if so, why? Do you think this add-on would break the PvP system, be too OP or countering other specs too heavily? Well, I do think that adding new specs would be a cool system. I don't know how I feel about it balance-wise. The spec balance right now, while not being phenomenal, because boxing, in my opinion, is still probably better than all the other specs, is actually not that bad. I think boxing and Haman are on pretty even playing fields, vampire following closely behind them, and spin and pluck while being kind of weak. Pluck has some stuff, spin not so much. And so I really think if you added new specs, what would probably end up happening is that they would either be really underpowered, kind of like spin, and they just wouldn't have a purpose in the game, or they would be really obnoxiously overpowered. And really, the creativity when it comes down to specs and trying to balance them with how many stands are in the game and how many different tools each stand has, it's just rough, it's hard to balance that kind of stuff, and because of that I don't really see it happening. But I think the experimentation would be worthwhile and I think it'd be cool to see at the very least. Our third question comes from Frockaloo, who asks, besides Stone Free, which stand or spec maybe would you want added to YBA, assuming it's not half-baked and took no effort? And I always cop out on this one. It's always the World Requiem, it will always be the World Requiem, and you'll hear me talk about the World Requiem non-stop, because I want that stand, even though it'll never happen. I know, I know, the world over heaven exists, but I want a Requiem arrow being able to be used on the world to get all the world variant, which is the World Requiem. Although I don't see that ever happening, I still want it. But I know that's a cop out and I know people really don't want to hear that. So outside of that, I honestly could not tell you. I think there's probably a lot that they can work with right now. And a lot of that is manga stuff that I still don't really know about because I haven't read any of that. But really for me, what it comes down to is if the stand is fun to play, it doesn't matter what it is. As long as it's enjoyable, so be it. So there's not really anything specific outside of the World Requiem, just needs to be fun. Our fourth question comes from Degree who asks, if you were a dev of YBA, what would you fix slash add and why? And do you plan on expanding your main channel to a variety of other games? You probably won't read this comment though. Well, Degree, think again. As for the first one, if I was a dev of YBA, I wouldn't be able to do anything because I don't know how to code. But assuming that I knew how to code, 
I would fix a few of the balance issues, some stuff hitting people on the ground, stuff about King Crimson Requiem, Silver Chariot Requiem, and D4C Love Train would probably get gutted. And outside of that, I think the balance in the game is pretty solid. There's some offstanding things that are still problematic. The vampire subspec with vampire boxing being almost immortal is still an issue, so I'd probably get rid of that. And as for adding things, I don't know. I think if I was a developer, I'd probably look towards the community to find out what they would want, because the community has a lot of suggestions and ideas for stuff that are, as far as I know, never realized, and there's unlimited inspiration there, so might as well use it. As for expanding the main channel onto a variety of other games, I want to do that, but it's kind of hard because of how ingrained my channel is with Roblox and how my core audience wants me to just do Roblox. But I'm pretty sure that there's another question on here that has a more related version of this question that talks about some more stuff, so I'll answer it in depth when we get over to that. The next question comes from Octave who asks, if YBA stays at this rate of updates, how long do I think it will last before it dies? And this is a really easy question to answer and the answer is a very long time. YBA has a lot of staying power because it's basically the only game of its type in its genre that's as good as it is. Despite all YBA's problems, it's still a game that consistently keeps people coming back for the combat and that kind of stuff. People like YBA, people like how it plays, people like how it feels, and so because of that they consistently return to the game, and that's the biggest reason why we haven't seen any updates in so long. If people weren't interested, and people constantly left, then the game would die really quickly at the current rate of updates. But because people always come back, and because people are interested, they don't put out updates because they know they don't have to. Why bother? It's just not worth it. Now that's frustrating from a consumer perspective and a player perspective, but really what it comes down to is until people lose interest and stop playing, the odds of there being consistent updates, again, not very high. So it won't die, but it will get boring for a lot of people, but all that's going to take a while to take place. Next question is from Weirdbot, and this is the question I was referring to a little bit ago, who asked, will you ever play new games that aren't FPS and Roblox related, like Miles Morales, GTA, and other random games on your second channel or your main one? Although you've been doing well on Roblox JoJo games and your FPS shooter challenges, I think you need a bit more variety in my opinion. And I do agree with you, I wish I had more variety on my channel, but I think there's a few things that stop me from doing variety, and it's not just that I don't and it's not just the algorithm, because at the end of the day, I'll be real with you here, I don't play very many other games. I've said it a few times before on streams and stuff, but I don't know how many times I say it on my main channel. I don't play very many games outside of the Roblox stuff I do for recordings and Battlefield and such that I play with my friends. Outside of that, I can't think of a game in recent memory that I've played. And for stuff like Miles Morales, which is a Spider-Man game that I do want to play, which is locked to the PS4, I don't have one of those. So I'd have to get one, and I'd have to get capture equipment, and I can do all that, I definitely can. But would it all be worth it going through all that effort to get all that stuff to put it all together, and at the end of it get next to nothing out of it because barely anybody watches it because it's not Roblox, on top of the fact that I've never really done any sort of content surrounding single player games. That's also something you really need to consider. I don't even know how I would do content surrounding single player games, and that's something that I need to experiment with and I might do it at some point, but first I need to have a single player game that I want to play and think I can also inject myself into to make entertainment, if you know what I mean. So really, it's a hard question to answer, but I would like more variety. The algorithm kind of holds me back, but really the biggest thing holding me back at this point is me. If I just jumped and took the risk and was willing to take the fall, then we'd probably see more of it. But at this point, I'm not, and so we've got what you're working with today. The seventh question comes from King Mogus, who asks, have I ever considered talking with other YBA YouTubers like a podcast about balancing and such? Uh, not really, no. I have considered a podcast before, but when it comes to talking to other YBA YouTubers, I don't really know any of them or really honestly know of any of them outside of their names that pop up sometimes when people are talking about them in passing. 
And so the fact that I don't know any of these people kind of prevents me from just going about making a podcast with a bunch of people that I don't know. As for the podcast itself, I've thought in many occasions that maybe I should make a monthly podcast or something where I just hop on for an hour with some people and talk about things, have topics. I don't know. It's passed my mind, but I don't really know if I know anyone that would be willing to sit down for an hour and talk about random crap for my YouTube channel. So, in that kind of sense, I don't know. It has passed my mind, probably wouldn't be with YBA YouTubers, but yeah, that's the best I got for that. Next question's from Relic Spoon, which is related to that last question, who asks, do you ever watch other YBA slash AUT YouTubers on your free time? And if so, what kind of content do you enjoy and what are the YouTubers? And the answer to that one is pretty simple. No, I don't. If it's Roblox, I don't watch it. The only time I ever watch anything related to Roblox is if someone sends me something specifically and says, hey, this is good, or hey, you need to see this because someone stole something of yours, which 99% of the time, it wasn't actually stolen, and it's just someone doing a review or something, which I don't hold a monopoly over. If people want to make reviews of things, they don't have to ask me because I don't hold a monopoly on that. But that's off topic. Main point being, I don't watch any other YBA or AUT YouTubers, and uh, I really just don't watch much YouTube in general, if we're being honest. I try my best to avoid watching YouTube because I see YouTube as a serious time sink and waste of time that doesn't really progress anything. If I'm watching YouTube, I probably could have been working on something for my YouTube. Doesn't stop me from getting stuck in black holes sometimes and clicking on a bunch of recommended videos and losing three hours of my life, but I try to avoid it when I can. Next is from Jandal, who says, On a scale of 1 to 10, how much effort do you think Uzu and his devs are putting into the game? Also, when's the cat gonna come back again? Well, my cat is currently asleep and there's no face cam on this video, so... Uh, not today. As for the first one, I think this is a bit of a loaded question because you lump together Uzu and the developers, and I think these are probably on very different spectrums. If you were to ask me, I think that Uzu is not doing a whole lot of anything, and I think that the developers he has, in all likelihood, are busting their ass to get things together while he does nothing. I have absolutely zero proof of this whatsoever, but it's a hunch on my end based on the things I've seen. I really think that the developers, in all likelihood, do their best in spite of the situation they're in, and I think that Uzu, being the leader of the project, takes the blame when it comes to updates coming out really infrequently, because if the developers aren't doing their jobs, then that's kind of on him as the owner to make sure that they do do it. And based on all the decisions that he makes for monetary gain, I highly doubt that he would just let the developers do nothing, so I think it falls down to him. Next is from Agnizikabon. I'm sorry, I just absolutely butchered your name, and that's because you're from Poland. I'm really sorry, that's my bad. But they ask, how do you upload so consistently? Your motivation baffles me. Keep up the good work. Love from Poland. Thank you, person whose name I can't pronounce. I apologize. As for the upload consistently, I kind of don't. I mean, I suppose I upload five days a week, which might keep going, might change soon because of some changes on the channel and some channel updates that probably have come out before you see this. But really what it comes down to is it's my job. I have to do it, so I do. I wake up in the morning, something has to get done, and I do it. And considering that I have nothing better to do most days, that's just how it works out. As for what I do, I thank God I have a bunch of well-established series at this point. So if I don't have any ideas, which is pretty often, I can just do one of those and it solves my problem. And if not, I could always find some random crap to complain about, bada boom bada bam, video. But really, I think that a lot of people in my position would do the same, if not more. I mean, just look at Infernasu, that guy, as far as I know, throws out a video every single day, seven days a week. And I don't think I'd be able to do that, especially just on Roblox. Pretty sure I'd lose my mind. So, shoutouts to him. But yeah, it's just kind of daily routine, that's how it happens. And finally, the last one on here is Dio Overheaven who asks, With the current state of YBA, I've been seeing many players migrate to other games. Are you considering this? Not really, no. And that's mainly because people like watching the stuff that I make on YBA, and YBA still has a ton of players. And based on the player counts, it only makes sense 
from my position to continue doing YBA even if I don't want to. Thankfully at this point, YBA is still at least fun enough for me that it's not going to end my life if I keep doing videos on it. But even if it did get to the point where I was so burned out that I didn't want to play at all, I would still have to do it because that's what people want to see and it's what all the people are playing. So unfortunately, I'm just kind of at the whims of you guys and what you do. And a lot of that you can see when it comes down to trying to do other things on this channel that are not Roblox. I try something else that barely gets any views and we're back to Roblox, it just happens. As for, I know, the million dollar question of Eclipse, why don't you just go play a different Roblox game? I don't play Roblox, I've said this a lot. Uh, there really isn't very often that I play Roblox. The only time I play stuff outside of recording is when friends ask me to play and we end up playing some crappy game for a little bit. Outside of that, I don't play games on Roblox. Odds are, even when it comes to YBA, I play less of it than you guys. So that probably helps me out a little bit. Most of the time that I play, it's only for recording and then I quit. Very rarely am I playing outside of that. So yeah, I don't know where I'd go, so I'm not really considering migrating to other games just yet. And with that, that's all the questions I have for today. I wanted to make things a bit shorter because I said I was going to make things shorter last time and then it was not shorter. I talked for like 20 something minutes and I don't know how many people really want to sit through the 20 something minutes. If you do, you can let me know in the comments and maybe I'll do some longer ones because really these aren't very hard to make, so it's not a huge time commitment for me and making it longer or shorter is really up to seeing what people want me to do with it. But yeah, that's all I got for today. That's all the questions. I wouldn't bother leaving questions in the comments section of this video because in all likelihood, I'll take the questions from another community post that I'll be doing on my channel uh, somewhere around next month because that's when I said I was going to do these. With that though, that's all for today. So if you enjoyed the video, you can leave a like, subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video, you can dislike it, but YouTube removed dislikes, so I won't see it. And with all that being said, have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I'll see you next time.